Hey, everybody. Recently, I got a question about whether somebody should use Patreon for essentially what is crowdfunding, right? Uh, maybe they need to replace a laptop or they need to raise a little bit of money for some cause that they want to donate to. Uh, and they were wondering if Patreon was a good uh, uh, medium, a, a good platform for that. So in this video, I'm going to uh, kind of talk about the difference between uh, the, these subscription-based pledge platforms like Patreon uh, and then the kind of one-off crowdfunding options, right? So uh, first of all, on the screen here, you can see I have my Patreon page up and uh, the major differences between something like Patreon and something like, uh, let's say, um, GoFundMe, right, or Kickstarter is that uh, Patreon is a recurring charge type of thing, right? I've got multiple tiers here where my patrons get charged monthly to continually donate to uh, my content creation cause, okay? So so they can donate, let's say, $5, and uh, every month they'll get new content uh, for that $5, right? Uh, if we look at something like GoFundMe, usually somebody sets up a price goal that's a one-time charge uh, to support some cause. The same thing with Kickstarter, right? So uh, you set up a project, you set up a goal, and you say, I need to raise X amount of dollars by this date in order for me to reach my goal. So when this person emailed me and asked me if they should use Patreon, what for what was essentially a crowdfunding thing, right? Uh, they needed to raise money to replace their laptop. Uh, I actually pointed them towards GiveWP. Uh, so GiveWP is a free WordPress donation plugin, and it allows you to install and start accepting donations immediately using PayPal. And the nice thing about GiveWP is that uh, they have zero commission charges, right? So if you use something like Patreon or GoFundMe or Kickstarter, you're getting their platform, right? And maybe their audience, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but they're also going to take a little bit off of the top, right? Uh, with Patreon, it's anywhere from 5 to 10% of uh, the pledges. I'm not, I think with Kickstarter, it's about 5% as well. Uh, so uh, you lose a little bit of that control, right? And then if, if one day uh, Kickstarter or GoFundMe decides, well, you can only use their payment processor or you can only use some certain thing, well, then you're stuck with that. Uh, but if you have a WordPress blog, and this person certainly did, I, I actually checked it out beforehand, uh, I recommend GiveWP. So uh, in this video, I'm going to install and configure GiveWP on my personal site, casabona.org right now. So uh, just a quick disclaimer, I'm doing this live on my live site, uh, but I have installed and configured GiveWP before. I of course recommend that you test these things before you roll them out into your own live site. So let's get started. We're going to go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for give. Again, give is a free donation plugin available on the WordPress plugin repository. Uh, they make their money through paid add-ons, so uh, you'll see some of the things that we can do with the free version of Give, and then we can look at some of the paid add-ons. So uh, I've installed, and now I'm activating this plugin. So the plugin is now activated. Uh, we can sign up for their newsletter if we'd like. Uh, they actually put out a lot of uh, really good content. And the other thing that you could see is that test mode is activated by default, right? So uh, you won't just start taking people's money as soon as you activate the plugin, which is good. Uh, so they talk about a little bit about who they are and what they do. And then we can go to the get started area. So they have a really nice onboarding process where they tell us uh, how to create a new form, how to customize our donation levels, how to add content to the form, and how to configure our display options. So uh, we have a new donations area in our left hand bar. Uh, so I'm going to hover over donations and click add form. I'm just going to call this buy me coffee. 
Uh, one of the nice things that you can do with Give is create a multi-level donation, right? So uh, if you've ever looked at Kickstarter or GoFundMe uh, or Patreon for that matter, uh, you can have multiple levels where you have a uh, recommended donation price uh, or uh, different levels based on maybe rewards, right? So if somebody uh, pledges a dollar for me on Patreon, they get a certain set of rewards. If they pledge $50 to me on Patreon, they get a lot more rewards because they're giving me $50 a month uh, because they like what I'm doing or whatever. Uh, so we have a multi-level donation or we can just set the donation to something, right? So if you just want to make a single recommended donation amount, you can do that here. Uh, so we're, we could set this to $5 and that's what we want. We can also set a custom amount. So if we want to set a donation, but also give people the freedom to maybe donate whatever they want, we can do that here. So we've got the multi-level donation, and then we have the set donation amount. Now, since I'm, you know, I, this is just a buy me coffee form, I'm going to do a set donation. I'm going to do uh, $4. I live just outside of Philadelphia, so that's a reasonable amount. Uh, and then I'm going to set the donation level to, uh, to $3 here. And that's basically because uh, while Give doesn't take any money off of the top, right? They don't have any commission fees. Uh, you still have to pay the payment processor, right? So if you set it to something like $1 uh, and it's PayPal, that's 29 cents plus 3% of the transaction. So you're losing 30% uh, of the donation right there. Whereas with $3, you're losing, you know, like, something like uh, 10%. Um, and then, of course, the higher you go, the less you lose. So $4 after the fee is about enough to buy me uh, a small cup of coffee at Starbucks. And then you could set a maximum amount, right? So, you know, people can donate whatever they want here. And then here you can do custom amount text. So if you have some punchy copy to convince people to donate a custom amount, you can do that as well. So uh, that's our donation options. Uh, if we go to form display, uh, we can show like all, um, we could display the donation uh, here, you know, with all fields, or we can have a modal pop up or a reveal or a button. Uh, this all depends on how you want to design your page. I'm going to have a dedicated page for this. So I'm just going to show all fields. I'm going to change the button to buy me coffee. The default gateway you'll see uh, is the global default. We haven't configured this yet. We actually need to do that under settings. Uh, so we'll do that as soon as we create this form. Company donations, we'll disable that. Uh, guest donations, we will enable. We don't, uh, we don't necessarily want to force people to log in to make a donation. Uh, and we don't want to register. We want to make the donation process as easy as possible for them. Uh, so those are our display settings. Uh, we can also enable a donation goal. Okay, so um, you know, if I wanted to pay for coffee for the year, uh, and that's my goal, that's two cups a day times 365, which is like $2,900. Uh, why don't we just make this a round number of $3,000? Uh, and then we can show amount raised, percentage raised for the goal format. I'll just do amount raised so people know how much uh, has been donated so far. We can also choose to close the form once the goal has been met. That's disabled by default. Uh, we can add some form content if we want. So uh, if we're going to embed this on a page, we might want to include uh, the content on the page instead. Uh, terms and conditions, offline donations, if we want to uh, allow that, I'm going to turn that off. And then email notifications. All of these are set to the global options, right? So I'm going to click publish. And now our form is created. Uh, and we'll go to the settings just to make sure that all of our global settings are correct. Uh, so, uh, success page will be donation confirmation. It looks like a few pages have been created for me. Uh, the currency will be US dollar, currency position and all that fun stuff. Uh, but we are more concerned with the payment gateways. So, we're going to uh, enable PayPal standard. We'll make that the default. We'll disable these other two options. And we will turn off test mode. 
So we'll click Save Changes. Now we'll go to PayPal Standard and we'll put in my PayPal address. Everything else here uh, is standard set for just regular PayPal. Um, so if like if we have a page style that we want to use that we've configured at PayPal.com, we can do that. I am not a nonprofit, so I need to make sure to set this to a standard transaction. If you are a nonprofit and you can prove your nonprofit status, then you could set this to donations. Uh, I don't need uh, billing details, so I'm just going to uh, save these changes. And then we'll go through the rest. We'll use all of the default give styles. For the emails, there is some default copy associated. We'll use that. If you're looking to not do something quick, if like donations are going to be a big part of your business, then I would strongly recommend uh, editing these emails. So now the, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a page. I'm going to call this page Buy Me Coffee. So I've added some copy here, uh, buy me a cup of coffee. It's only four bucks. You can see my goal is $3,000. That will pay for all of the coffee I drink for one year. Uh, so I've got some copy here. And uh, now I'm going to add the donation form, right? So we'll choose donation form from the give short codes. I'll choose buy me coffee. Uh, and then we can hide the title. Uh, we can hide the content and uh, we'll show all fields, right? So insert this short code here, and then we will click publish. All right, so now we'll look at the page and we have uh, a very simple donation page uh, where it says buy me coffee, you have the copy, you have the form, and, uh, and then we have this, which I will remove that. Uh, most people, uh, the experts, We'll recommend you have only one call to action on a page. So uh, I'm using convert kit for my forms, but I will choose to display none here. Update that. And now we have only one thing on, on the page and that is the uh, donation form. So that's it. That's how you get up and running with give. Just to uh, recap, uh, I did this because somebody asked me, should they use Patreon uh, essentially for a donation-based thing that they were doing? Uh, while Patreon is great for a lot of things, that's more of a subscription service where people can pledge to support uh, your content creation or artistic goals. A lot of artists are on there, uh, and that's what Patreon is best for. Uh, what he was looking for was something more like GoFundMe, which is uh, a platform where you can set a goal and then people can make a one-time donation. He was running a WordPress site, so I recommend he check out give at givewp.com because uh, you can easily add it to your own WordPress site. There's no commissions, so you get everything minus the payment gateway fees, and it's free and easy to set up. Now, I did allude to something earlier where I said uh, you have the platform if you use something like Kickstarter or GoFundMe or Patreon. Uh, the problem is that those platforms are used by lots of people, so you can't really rely on uh, extra publicity that you're going to get from them because uh, you want to build up a little bit of trust, right? I don't think that the benefit of the audience for that platform is worth the commission that you pay. I have a Patreon because I wanted to get it set up quickly and easily, uh, but if I'm going to redo this sometime in the future, I'm probably going to use Give. On top of their free plugin, they have a bunch of add-ons. Uh, so you can buy, um, you know, you can buy the bundles, uh, but we can also look at just individual add-ons. So, so um, if I were doing this today, I would definitely use Give and some of their paid add-ons where uh, I can turn on recurring donations, I could capture custom information, and then send it to ConvertKit, uh, and then I could accept all types of currencies with their currency switcher. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about Patreon or Give, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, uh, and, and one more thing. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content. Finally, if you, uh, you want to test out 
give WP, you can head over to casabona.org slash coffee. Uh, I made a short URL for that. Uh, so casabona.org slash coffee to test it out and make a donation and buy me a cup. All right. Have a great day. Thanks.